all right guys welcome back to the channel and you have guessed it right another day another model from a chinese company but the crown jewel of this video is not this model rather it's something way bigger than that way exciting than that in this video i'm going to talk about something very very refreshing coming out of china specifically from quen the team behind the quen 3 models and the reason i think this is worth paying attention to is because they are going in a completely different direction from nvidia dominated gpu world and which is very promising instead of trying to beat nvidia at their own game with cuda h100 and gpus that cost more than a car quen is working on making models so sparse so efficient that you will be able to run them on a powerful cpu with a lot of ram no gpu required at all that might sound crazy at first like how do you take an 80 billion parameter model for instance and expect it to run on cpu but that is exactly what their new quen 3 next series is about let's break it down this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel please like the video and subscribe to the channel and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot so here is a big idea which quen is doing quen 3 next is their next generation of foundation models it's designed from the ground up for extreme context length and massive efficiency now they are using a few really clever tricks in the architecture which i will be talking about the model is not released just i think it is just a matter of now hours maybe when they are going to release it on hugging face and we will be testing it out but as i said earlier the main point is something way bigger than that because they release models like every day so the clever tricks they are using are quite a lot they are using hybrid attention so instead of plain old transformers they are using something called as gated delta net and gated attention that makes context handling way way more efficient they are also using very high sparsity of mixture of expert and that is the headline feature that is what is the crown jewel of this video in their mixture of expert layers only one out of 50 experts activates for any given token yes you have heard that right i will also explain it in detail later but just remember this that only one out of 50 experts activates for any given token that means you don't need to touch all 80 billion parameters at once in this next model and that is quite disruptive that is quite unexpected in my humble opinion yes mixture of expert is not new all of this parsity is not new but the way they are doing makes it quite real they are also doing multi token prediction so we are basically predicting multiple token at once which speeds up training and inference and there are few other optimization which are quite normal like layer norm tweaks and a different gated mechanism to keep a training stable <clears throat> if you look at this table this is where i am going um, to explain mixture of expert think of it like this instead of <clears throat> sorry one giant model where every single parameter fires for every token you have a pool of experts and the model only picks a few of them depending on the input it's like having 50 specialists on the call but only one or two jump in when needed that is where the activation ratio comes in for quen 3 next the ratio is 1 to 50 meaning out of 50 possible experts only one is active per forward pass so the effective compute cost per token is closer to a 3 billion model even though the total capacity is 80 billion and yes you can run 3 billion parameter model on cpu a powerful cpu with plenty of ram so if you are a ram holder then congratulations but the story doesn't really just ends there 
let me show you a comparison table with other mixture of expert models and how many experts are activating and this is so so interesting so you can see on this table quinn is pushing this sparsity idea really really hard and here is why this matters for cpu but even before that if you look here compare it with gpt oss or K kimi k2 or long cat flash quinn 3 next is just <clears throat> at a very very different level it is taking less compute less memory and hence it matters for cpu if only 3 billion parameters <clears throat> are active like uh, at any given point in time you are suddenly in a world where cpu inference makes much much more sense you don't need a 30000 nvidia gpu with 96 gb of vram to be honest all you need is a very strong cpu and a mountain of ram and these days even laptops have very strong cpus for example let's compare that a workstation let's say with an amd <clears throat> epyc 9575 fn 1.1 terabyte of <clears throat> system ram and my apologies my throat is not well today so if you have like you know terabyte of ram or 500 gb of ram that might cost you somewhere around uh, equivalent to rtx 6000 gpu the gpu has definitely more bandwidth i'm not really comparing apple to, you know apple to apple here but the cpu setup gives you sheer memory capacity and flexibility with only 3 billion active parameters you can actually get decent tokens per second speed on cpu i have been running one of the quen 3 30 billion a3b model on my cpu setup and it is quite smooth and i also have done a video on it on the channel if you are interested and now it's not perfect at all by any means i'm not trying to say that okay just stop using gpus throw them out and then just wait for this model and it will run on cpu like any gpu cpu inference still struggles with prompt ingestion speed and kv cache size even though you are only activating 3 billion parameter per token the memory footprint for long context is closer to a dense 30 billion model and that is why the speed drops off as you go longer but honestly this direction is huge it's like the chinese ai labs are saying fine nvidia you can own the gpu world will just build models that don't even need you and in the long run <clears throat> in the long run that could democratize ai imagine being able to run on 80 billion model with huge context window on a server with nothing but cpu and a lot of ram for researchers startups or just enthusiasts that's a game changer i'm you know quite hyped about this whole idea i'm not fixated on this new model which is about to be released but as i said it is way bigger than that i think these sort of model will be tailor made for cpu rigs and if they keep pushing sparsity further who knows we might see models with expert sizes so small that you can run them on desktop cpus with let's say 64 gb of ram so yeah while nvidia is still sitting comfortably on their gpu monopoly the real disruption might come from this angle models <clears throat> that simply don't need gpus anymore that's it let me know what do you think about it and uh, as i said as soon as this model the next one is released i'm going to cover it on the channel please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for support